Beneath the bustling streets and sunlit piazzas of Naples, Italy, ancient forces are constantly at work, forces that have shaped civilizations, buried entire cities, and continue to influence the lives of millions. This is a land where history and geology are forever intertwined, and where the ground itself seems to remember every eruption, every tremor, every moment of upheaval. Mount Vesuvius and Campi Flegre loom over the city like silent sentinels, their quiet, green slopes masking the immense, restless power that churns deep below. These volcanoes are not just landmarks, they are living, breathing giants shaping the destiny of the region. In recent months, subtle tremors have rippled through the earth, and the ground has begun to swell, sending a clear message. These giants are not asleep. They are stirring, breathing, and reminding us of their presence with every shudder and crack. The tragic story of Pompeii, a city frozen in time by Vesuvius's fury in 79 AD, stands as a haunting reminder that this danger is not just a relic of the past. The echoes of that disaster still resonate, warning us that history can repeat itself. Today, Campi Flegre is experiencing a period of intense unrest, with increased seismic activity and ground deformation drawing urgent attention from scientists, local authorities, and governments across Europe. The world is watching, hoping for answers. Over three million people call the Naples area home, with hundreds of thousands living directly atop the vast Campi Flegre caldera. For these residents, the threat is not distant or abstract. It is part of daily life, woven into the fabric of the city. Swarms of small earthquakes have cracked walls and shaken nerves, leaving visible scars on homes and buildings throughout the region. These events have forced emergency plans back into focus, prompting officials to review evacuation routes and update safety protocols, determined to be ready for whatever may come. For the people of Naples, uncertainty hangs in the air. The question is no longer if something will happen, but what will happen and when. Anxiety and vigilance have become part of everyday existence. To truly understand the risk, we must look deep beneath the surface of the earth and far back through the pages of history, piecing together clues from ancient eruptions and modern science alike. We will explore the unique nature of these volcanoes, their complex histories, and the forces that make them some of the most dangerous on the planet. As science races to decipher the signals from below, the people of Naples wait hoping for answers and for protection in this beautiful yet perilous corner of the world. Mount Vesuvius is the classic volcano, cone-shaped, iconic, and infamous for its explosive eruptions. Its 1944 eruption was the last on the European mainland, but its most famous was in 79 AD, immortalized by Pliny the Younger. Just west lies Campi Flegre, a vast, sunken caldera formed by super-eruptions that dwarf Vesuvius's worst. Campi Flegre is a patchwork of craters, with new vents capable of opening anywhere within its restless expanse. The phenomenon of Brady seism, ground rising and falling, has become more rapid, signaling growing pressure. While Vesuvius is quietly recharging, Campi Flegre's immediate unrest makes it one of the world's most dangerous volcanic areas. Together, these two titans keep scientists and authorities in constant vigilance. In recent years, the uneasy quiet of Campi Flegre has been shattered by a dramatic surge in earthquake swarms, sending ripples of anxiety through the region. What was once a peaceful landscape dotted with historic towns and tranquil streets is now marked by a persistent sense of uncertainty. Since 2023, Hundreds of tremors have rattled the Campania region, cracking buildings, damaging infrastructure, and fraying the nerves of residents who now live in constant anticipation of the next jolt. Each quake, no matter how small, is a stark reminder of the immense forces at work beneath their feet. In early 2025, a particularly intense swarm struck, over 200 quakes in just 24 hours, peaking at a magnitude 3.9, these shallow quakes were acutely felt by thousands, shaking homes and sending people rushing into the streets, fearful of what might come next. Then, in May 2025, a magnitude 4.4 quake, the strongest in four decades, rocked the area, prompting Italian authorities to declare a state of emergency. Streets filled with emergency vehicles and officials scrambled to assess the damage and reassure the public. Beneath the surface, Brady Seism, the gradual rise and fall of the ground, has accelerated alarmingly. 
the land is now rising by several centimeters each month, adding up to more than a meter over the past decade, a clear sign of mounting pressure below. This relentless uplift stretches and weakens the Earth's crust, creating new fissures and fueling even more earthquakes. It's a visible, tangible signal that immense forces are building, and the ground itself is under extraordinary stress. In response, Italy's monitoring efforts have reached unprecedented levels. Teams of volcanologists and seismologists now track every tremor, every shift in gas emissions, and every subtle change in the landscape using cutting-edge technology to gather real-time data. While there is currently no sign of an imminent eruption, the entire volcanic system is under significant stress. Scientists are working around the clock, racing to interpret the complex signals and provide accurate forecasts to keep the public safe. The challenge is immense to provide timely warnings and clear guidance to the millions who live in the shadow of these restless volcanic giants, ensuring that communities remain vigilant and prepared for whatever the future may hold. To predict the future, we must study the violent past of Vesuvius and Compi Flegrei. These volcanoes have shaped the land and the lives of people in southern Italy for thousands of years, leaving behind a legacy of both destruction and rebirth. Vesuvius's infamous 79 AD eruption buried the thriving Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in searing pyroclastic flows and choking ash, freezing a moment in time and setting the benchmark for volcanic destruction. The tragedy claimed thousands of lives and preserved the cities beneath meters of debris, offering a haunting window into the ancient world. Later eruptions, such as those in 1631 and 1944, proved that even smaller volcanic events can be deadly. Ash and lava destroyed homes, forced evacuations, and reminded everyone living in the shadow of Vesuvius that danger is never far away. Campi Flegre's history is even more dramatic. The Campanian Ignimbrite eruption, which occurred 39,000 years ago, was a continent-altering event. It blanketed much of Europe in ash, disrupted climate, and may have even affected early human populations. The Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption, about 15,000 years ago, sculpted the caldera we see today. This eruption left behind thick layers of yellow rock, shaping the landscape and influencing the region's geology for millennia. Even after millennia of apparent quiet, Campi Flegre can reawaken with little warning. In 1538, the earth split open and Monte Nuovo was born in just eight days transforming the landscape and reminding locals that these forces are still very much alive. These histories show that both volcanoes are capable of sudden, devastating change. Their eruptions have shaped not only the land, but the fate of entire communities and civilizations. The past is a warning. Centuries of calm can be shattered in moments. The giants may sleep, but history shows they can stir again, often with little warning. By understanding these ancient and recent events, scientists and communities can better prepare for what may come. The lessons of the past are our best guide to facing the future. For years, scientists believed rising magma was driving Campi Flegre's unrest. But new research from Stanford in 2025 points to a different culprit, superheated water and volcanic gases trapped beneath a caprock. Heat from below boils this water, building pressure like a giant pressure cooker. When the caprock fractures, steam and gas escape, causing earthquake swarms, then minerals seal the cracks and the cycle repeats. This explains the periodic phases of unrest and calm. The immediate threat is not a massive magma eruption, but a sudden steam-driven explosion, like the one that created Monte Nuovo. This new understanding shifts how scientists assess and manage the risk. With the ground swelling and shaking, what's next? The most likely scenario at Campi Flegre is a phreatic or steam-driven eruption, localized but dangerous, capable of blasting a new crater and endangering thousands nearby. The 1538 Monte Nuovo eruption is the closest historical parallel. A larger magmatic eruption is less likely now, but not impossible. It would be preceded by clear warning signs. Vesuvius, though quiet, remains a long-term threat its next eruption could be highly explosive with devastating pyroclastic flows. The probability is low in any given year, but the consequences are so severe that constant vigilance is required. 
emergency planning remains focused on both volcanoes. For Naples, volcanic risk is personal. Millions live atop one of the world's most dangerous hotspots. Earthquake swarms are a daily reality, shaking homes and nerves. Brady Sizem is part of local identity, but recent acceleration has brought anxiety and tough choices for families. The economic and psychological toll is significant, with evacuation drills and emergency plans now part of daily life. Yet resilience runs deep. Neapolitans have long adapted to their volatile land, which also brings beauty, fertility, and hot springs. The duality of danger and bounty shapes the community's relationship with the volcanoes. Living here means balancing fear with a deep connection to the land. Italy has built one of the world's most comprehensive volcanic emergency plans. Constant scientific monitoring, clear alert levels, and detailed evacuation procedures form the backbone of this strategy. Red zones around both volcanoes mark the highest risk areas, with plans for preemptive evacuation of over a million people if needed. The IT alert system broadcasts emergency messages to all phones and regular drills keep the public prepared. Each red zone town is paired with a host region for evacuation support. Recent seismic activity has tested and improved these plans, highlighting the challenge of moving so many people quickly. While no plan is perfect, Italy's proactive, science-led approach is a formidable shield against disaster. The forces beneath Naples are beyond our control. But the story is not just one of fear. Science is forging tools to help us live safely with these giants. New research suggests we might manage the hazard, perhaps by relieving underground pressure through engineering, not just evacuation. This shift offers hope. With deep understanding, we might gently release pressure and reduce the risk of a dangerous explosion. Every new sensor and scientific breakthrough adds to our defense. The tireless work of scientists provides crucial lead time for emergency plans. Through knowledge and preparedness, Naples can continue to thrive in the shadow of its restless titans.